Hello, Bill here. Call sign WX4AR. Uh, today I'm going to construct a 40 meter double bazooka antenna. The double bazooka is a totally different antenna than most of us are used to because it uses coaxial cable as the antenna itself. Uh, I found this design online by a fellow named David. Call sign K3DAV at www k3dav.com forward slash build a double bazooka ant. You can find all the measurements for different bands on a site. I'll be changing the design but only slightly. I want to thank David in advance for taking time to post the design. I hope I do it justice. Uh, the reason I want to build a double bazooka is because it claims to outperform the basic dipole and is also much quieter. Currently I use a Comet H422 rotatable dipole for 40 meters and although it seems to be an awesome transmit antenna, it does pick up a lot of noise. Here are the supplies I'll be using. A center insulator, a utility knife, wire cutters, wire strippers, a siding iron, liquid tape, antenna rope, and approximately 67 feet of RG8X mini coax. David's design calls for either RG8X Mini or RG8, but uh, I'm thinking that 67 feet of RG8 would be a little heavy to deal with. Okay, now the next step is to find the exact center of your 67 uh, foot piece of coaxial cable. And what you want to do is very carefully, using a utility knife, cut off just the black jacket surrounding the braid. You do not want to cut into the braid at this time, and definitely do not want to cut into the uh, center insulator. And uh, that is two inches, right in the center of your 67-foot uh, coaxial cable. Also, just to let you know, the 67 feet, uh, that is a little long, uh, but we want it long, that way we can trim it for uh, proper SWR. Remember the golden rule, it's always easier to shorten, it is to lengthen. All right, I'll be back with the next step. Okay, and here's the next step. Very, very carefully, what you want to do is you want to cut the, uh, the braided cable right in the center and strip it back to the ends and make two braided ends like so. Again, be extremely careful that you do not cut in to the weight center insulator. Okay, now this is uh, where I am going to change uh, Dave's plan slightly. Uh, he has you just uh, taking your feed line and directly soldering it to these two leads. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a center insulator, like so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solder the wire to the center insulator to the two braided cables. That's really the only difference between mine and Dave's plan. I'm only doing that because I find it, I'll find it easier to hang the uh, antenna when it's done. Okay, hopefully that won't make any difference in uh, any kind of signal loss or anything like that, but uh, I don't think it will. If it does, it, I'm sure it won't be much. Okay, just wanted to give you a final look at what that looks like. That center insulator. Uh, if you notice, there is some exposed wires here. I will uh, cover that up with some liquid tape at the end, but I do have uh, a little bit more I have to do on the ends of the antenna, and that will be the next step. Okay, now the next step. Uh, from the center, you need to measure out 22 feet eight and one half inches from the center on both sides of the dipole. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut off all the black surrounding insulator from there to the end of the antenna. Also you're going to also get rid of all the braiding except for about two inches and you're going to again put that in another pigtail so from 22 feet eight and a half inches to the end all you're going to have is the white insulator and again be very very careful you do not cut in 
to the white insulator at this time. And you need to do this to both sides. Okay, and this is where it gets a little weird. What you need to do is the center insulator, you want to expose about one inch of the center conductor. All right, you don't want to cut it off, you just want to like spread it back because you're going to put it back over it again. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your, your pigtail and you're going to attach it to the center conductor and solder it together. I know it sounds strange, but that's the way it works. And you need to do this to both ends. Okay, it's all soldered up. And once it cools, you want to make sure you uh, tape it up nice and tight. You do not want any exposed wires. I'm going to do, uh, first do some electrical tape, then when I'm done, I'm going to use some liquid tape. Okay, I've installed my double bazooka. It's, uh, I have it in an inverted V at about 25 feet, which isn't very high, but uh, hopefully uh, later time I'll maybe get it higher. Uh, as far as SWR goes, I did not have to cut a thing. Uh, SWR is perfect through CW all the way through the, uh, to the single sideband part of the band. Excellent. Um, all right, now the big test. Is it quieter than the Comet? I'm going to do a couple tests. I'm going to uh, show you what it sounds like on a frequency in use and a frequency in not use. Okay, currently I am on the Comet and this frequency is in use. And if you notice, when I switch from the Comet to the Bazooka, basically the signal stays the same, but the noise is reduced. There is a slight reduction in noise, so let's take a listen to that. All right, that's the comment. All right, just switched over to the bazooka. Comet. Bazooka. Comet. If you notice, there is an increase in noise when I go to the Comet. Back to the Bazooka. To the Comet. Alright, let's go to a frequency that's not in use. Alright, that is the Comet. As you can see, I am getting between an S6 and an S7 noise level. Let's switch over to the Bazooka. It's a little quieter, it's not perfect, but uh, if you notice, the signal, uh, noise signal went down to an S5, maybe a little less. Okay, again, this is the double bazooka. That's the Comet. Okay, there definitely is a reduction in noise, and that's really what I was worried about most. Uh, I will test the transmit part tomorrow when I do uh, do my net. However, I'm not really concerned about transmit because if uh, you can't hear somebody, you certainly doesn't matter if you can uh, if they can hear you or not if you can't hear them. So, well, uh, I'm going to call this one a success. So, uh, thanks to uh, Dave K3DAV. And myself, uh, WX4AR, I bid you 73 and a good day.